Hi, and welcome back to my channel. This is the five faces of resale. This is where I talk about all things related to reselling on the eBay platform. And I talk about sourcing, what types of items I'm picking up and looking out for, listing these items on the platforms such as eBay and Poshmark, selling the items, shipping the items, and then finally learning from some of my mistakes. So this video is gonna be a what sold video. I'm gonna start out by sharing some of the items that have sold most recently in my eBay store. I'll talk about the items, what they sold for, and how much I purchased them for. So here we go, let's get started. The first item was a guest handbag, women's signature logo. It was a black and gray bag, and that sold for $21.49. The customer made a offer, which I countered, and then she came back with a counter offer. So we kind of agreed somewhere in the middle. I purchased that item at a garage sale for $1. The next item was a really cute sweatshirt. It was a cropped sweatshirt by a company called Lazy Oaf. I hadn't heard of the company before, but I looked it up and it seemed to have a pretty good return. This item was a plaid red and black cropped sweatshirt with a trim black and white on the cuffs. This sold for an offer of $20, and I purchased it for $1.40 at my local Goodwill outlet, which is sort of like the bins, except they sell clothing, 15 items for $22. So typically, the pieces cost me about $1.40 per item. The next item that I sold was an anthropology item. I had been looking online for after Christmas sales to resell on eBay, and Anthropology has a very popular line of Christmas ornaments that sell out every year, and they also um, do really well resale. So this was a little ornament, it was a lobster. It's actually the second time I've sold it. It sold for $29.99, and I purchased that through Anthropology directly for $6. The next item that sold was a statue by Willie Ray Studios. This was a little girl jumping rope. She was surrounded by two little cats and their tails, and it was called Best Buddies. This item was from an estate sale that I went to where I purchased a lot of $1 items of little cat figurines, trinket boxes, Christmas ornaments, things like that. And they've been selling uh, quite well in my store. This item sold for $18 and again the purchase price was just $1 at the estate sale. The next item was the first time that I purchased items from Goodwill Online. They have an online auction house that you can purchase things from. They had a lot of 10 Starbucks mugs. Um, as most of you know, Starbucks mugs can be quite popular for resale. Some of them can go quite high and some just average out around $15. In this lot of 10, there was one mug that I was particularly interested in. It was this mug, the Jamaica mug. So these country mugs and city mugs in places that are far off are hard to come by. So those tend to go for a higher price. The Jamaica mug sold for a price of $44.99. And the price per Starbucks mug that I paid for the lot of 10 for the, at the auction was $4. So now I still have another nine Starbucks mugs to sell, all of which will be profit at this point. The next item I sold was another article of clothing. This was a pair of loft floral red capri pants in a size medium. These sold for $15.30. I purchased this for $1 at the Goodwill Bins in Los Angeles. That is where you purchase clothing by weight and it usually comes out to about a dollar or two per item. The next item I sold was for men. It was a Champion Men's Velour tracksuit jacket in a size 3XL. Typically, plus sizes do do really well on eBay, and this item was no exception. The tracksuit jacket sold for $26.70, and again, this was another item that I got at my local Goodwill outlet for $1.40. Uh, at the same haul, at the same outlet, I found this Oosby swim cover-up. It was a very beautiful, color colorful print, perfect for covering up a swimsuit or even wearing as a kind of a wrap skirt or wrap dress. 
that came to $12 sale and I purchased that for $1.40 at the Goodwill bins. The next item, I already received a sweet note from the customer who was so happy to have found this dress in her size. She said she'd seen it lots of places, different sizes, but she never found her size. So she was happy to pick up this extra small Nordstrom halogen geometric print dress. She paid $11 and this was an item I got at the Los Angeles bins for $1. The next item was also a clothing item. This was a brand new with tags polo Ralph Lauren white cable knit sweater. This was at a garage sale that I purchased for $3, which thought was a great price for something new with tags. It was in great condition. That sold for $29.83. There were a lot of clothing items in this um, most recent sales. Sometimes there'll be a lot of clothing. Sometimes it'll be other items. You just never know what's gonna sell that week. The next item that sold was not a clothing item. This was a pack of 20 blue and white napkins by Spode. The brand, the design name was Kaspari. I got these at a garage sale for $2 and they sold for $8. So not a huge return, but it's still nice to have a mixture of items in my shop and kind of opens the door to new customers who might not have um, come to look at any other items. The next item that sold was on auction. It was a 16 inch plush Disney store uh, plush of the White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. Now this item sold for $26. There were several bids on it and I purchased this at a garage sale for $1. So I thought that was a great return for my money. And also I'm learning that Disney store plush animals and vintage Disney are pretty good sellers. So I'm starting to keep an eye out for those as well as other vintage plush as I learn more about it. The next item was another item that I like picking up. It was a sealed factory sealed puzzle. This one was by Hometown Collection and it was Bird in Hand Quilts. I showed that in my last haul video. It was a thousand piece puzzle, brand new, never opened and that sold for $9.99. And I got that at a garage sale for $1. The next item to sell was another pre-owned article of clothing. It was a grapped, it was a gap striped tank top. I tried to mix up all the words into one. It was a gap striped tank top, size medium in a tunic kind of cut. It was very soft, very cute. That sold for $8 and that was a purchase that I made at the bins for $1.40. Another article of clothing was by Kenzie. It was a sweater dress with a black and gray print. It was a size small. This sold for $7 and this was a dollar item from the Los Angeles bins. Uh, some more items of clothing it was a new with tags Calvin Klein shrug in faux blue fur. This was kind of like a little cropped top that you might put over a, a nice dress when you're going to a cocktail party. So it's kind of cute and dressy, but covers up on a cold night. I purchased this actually um, brand new at TJ Maxx during their yellow tag sale. I paid $3 for it, and this item sold for $29.75. It sold through the global shipping program, which means it'll be going overseas uh, to a customer. I believe um, they are in France. The next item of clothing was a graphic t-shirt, a concert tee for a band called All Time Low. I found this at a garage sale for $1. It was called Straight to DVD. I believe that's probably the album or the name of the concert tour. And this sold for $16.99 and I paid it for a dollar at a garage sale. The next item was a five piece Christmas light string with candy canes and little candies. They were about this big, actually, uh, really cute. The customer was very happy with their purchase. They paid $17.40, and this was a garage sale item that I purchased for $1. And lastly, this was an item that I shared in one of my recent hauls. It was a pair of brand new pajamas, still in the package from JCPenney, broadcloth, long sleeve, long legged jammies for men in a size, I believe these were a size medium. The purchase price was $17 and I paid $2 at a garage sale. 
Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below with some of the sales you've been having on eBay. I'd love to hear about what's been selling for you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.